Well, the prophet called again for this moment is, I'm redeemed a wonder to my world. I'm redeemed a wonder to my world. Will you say that with me? I'm redeemed a wonder to my world. I'm redeemed a wonder to my world. That's the prophetic word for this month. And what teaches you is, is unlocking the supernatural, part 1b. We looked at part 1a, but now we want to look at what part 1b. They are two different things, but they are very important, brothers and sisters. The supernatural is our battery to the kingdom. You are redeemed to command sign. Amen. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, I want the children of you to make up of signs and what? So every child of God is a child of signs. Say it from a child of signs. Say it from me. So the supernatural is the natural estate of the redeemed. Is the natural estate, the natural realm, the domain that the redeemed should bring in. Christianity without supernatural is fake. Some of you are reading me. If you are not hearing signs and wonder, you should be getting discouraged. You will be looking for Marabu. Amen. Amen. And the, the good news is that that place, there's no road there. There's no road there. There's no road there. Whatever God cannot do for you, leave it or not. You don't need it. Christianity is proved or validated by supernatural. Supernatural means signs and wonders. Man, this thing happens to me every day. Every day. When you're supernatural, your Christianity may not be authentic. It may not be authentic. There are people who hate me as a person, but like me because of the testimonies surrounding my life. They hate me, but they can't deny that in fact. I don't like that guy, but uh, anyway, God is still using me. He's not better. So they are afraid to trade, they are trading with care. I don't like him, I don't like him. Anyway, <laughs> you need that kind of lifestyle. You don't need people to like you, you need the hand of God to be with you. Yes. You know that people would like to wait for people to like them, clap for them, and look. If you wait for people to clap for you, they will clap you out of God's clap. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> My most expected desire is to be in the center of God's plan. I don't care what anyone feels about it. You know what I'm going to shut my mouth? <laughs> my mouth cannot be shut. There is nothing you are giving me that will shut my mouth. I'm not a poor pastor. You know, some poor pastor you can tell them what to preach. Because uh, when you don't you preach, you give them prophet of it. <laughs> but since Jesus called me, sir, I've never been one member. And I'm proud to say it. So glad. Pastoring with dignity. Not a kid of it. I don't have any skeleton in my cupboard. So you can put it here. If anybody tells me things about me, come and cry. It's a lie. Any wrong thing you hear is a lie. Tell the person to sit down and come and say it here. Are you hearing me? The righteous is as broad as a lion. If any girl is just telling you, I'll be carrying my like this. Tell me to come and say it in the cupboard. Are you hearing me? Tell the person to come and say in the front. Are you hearing me? So relax. Tell the people relax. That I know what is doing. God is at work with money in his side. Nobody can change it. No man will be changed. <laughs> Praise God. So if you are not experiencing the supernatural, see, prove you don't understand what Christianity is. That's what I'm trying to say with all that. You must come to a point where you are. The supernatural should be like bread to you. It's the natural state of the believer. John chapter 3. The state. The way you don't listen. No one. 
Can I tell you it's coming from there? I can tell you it's going to. Science and wonder is the end product of every argument. It silences argument. So pastors are even denying the call of God on their life because they are no good. But when there is sign, you won't have to look out. If Jesus appeared to me, say, I didn't call you and say, it's a lie. It's not Jesus. Check it, check it again. <laughs> <laughs> Who has been those things that I've done before? I've never visited the house of any dirty marabou once, any day. Never. So, I can somebody one time say, the, the sign is following me. That Satan said, my mother is a, is a one thing, one thing. And we have one. I said, okay, that's good. Thank God you can recognize like something's happening. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I want to provoke you to come to a point where after today you begin to come outside for yeah. Because it's a bad fight. It ends, it ends every argument. It's the end of discussion. A man was a, an evangelist. And they were in radio station, television station, and we were talking. The radio, what do you call it? The journalist, is it journalist or something? Okay. Yeah? Okay, let's see journalist. Interviewing him. Say, so, oh, why do pastors live last drive? Why they so why you why you why you too? So so rich, so uh, the guy said, Oh, you may not understand. These things are needed for the gospel to advance. You better wish you were. In fact, you need to give to me to, to do this work well. Oh, the woman began to try to make a mockery of me. Say, so, oh, but I know people who are suffering the church, this and that and that, which is the mentality of some people. There is no man of voice here before that was from the, he started from the crash. Yes. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. And suddenly, as he was making a mockery of this man of God, somebody called on the radio station because they were wrong. And said, Oh, please, I need prayer. I'm dying of cancer. Now, 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 I need prayer. In less than five minutes, that was have changed. When the man begin to invoke the anointing on the sick patients, then the woman that was making a mockery of him now understood that this man should be allowed alone to do what he's doing. You know why? There are problems that government cannot solve. There are problems that university cannot solve. If you like go to Harvard or Cambridge or Princeton, there are problems you can't solve. Only God through the anointing can solve it. <laughs> and that's what we call supernatural. It brings an end to every argument. So that sister that was trying to mess up that brother is stop talking. What am I saying? When people are trying to embarrass you or bless you, they must take side. They must take side. They were trying to stop Elijah ministry. He said, if I be a man of God, let fire come down. When he finished, he said, oh, that's how we must have your God. <laughs> Praise God. Are you still there? Yes, sir. Signs are one that's a battle. Every need has a sign. Every challenge bow to a miracle. So you need. Now, for this is it. Signs are one that's a locked up. That's what we're looking at. Unlock it because it's locked up. Unlock it because it's locked. There are keys that unlock it. And in the first service, I give you one key, the key of the world. In this second service, I give you another key. Praise the Lord. That is the key of faith. What do I call it? What do I call it? Is the key that unlocks the supernatural. Faith puts you in command of the supernatural. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs, this supernatural, shall follow them that do what? So, signs are one that follows. Those who believe, those who have faith, believe this faith. It puts you from her. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23. If thou can believe, all things are possible. Believe everything. If condition. You can believe. You can have faith. 
How many things? How many things now? All things. Now, this is how it works. It takes the hand of God to see signs. Maybe I should define signs and wonders. Signs and wonders simply means the hand of God over the situations of your life. Listen to me. All this my swagger you are saying is because of God. Take God away from me. I'm a nothing. I'm a non, non entity. Are you hearing me? I'm just conscious of my God. That's the demonstration you're saying. You can agree with me that if this microphone is out of my hand, you see me alone. And it's not to do any work. And I look very dirty. I look like I still have many weakness. You see me walking on the road, I'm walking like one room that cannot walk like. <laughs> yeah. But when you see me on this microphone and the person who God has made me, relax. I tell you something, believe it. Faith. Faith. Faith put you in the class of God, sir. Faith makes you do what God can do. Because faith gets God's hand committed. The hand of God is committed to your affairs by faith. Isaiah 53, verse 1. He said, Who has believed our report? Who believe our report? To them is the arm of God revealed. God revealed to himself to those men of faith. Brings God's hand down. Listen, everything God has is only takeable by faith. So here. Yeah. Everything you need is available. There is nothing God needs to manufacture, sir. He has manufactured everything. You only need to take it by faith. Faith is your spiritual hand to take anything from God. So here. Yeah. Take away faith, you won't amount much. It is faith that defines the limit of your destiny. You are what is faith defined. Amen. Amen. You are faith is what defines the limit. Jesus said, if that can be all things, all things. Now see how faith puts you in the class of God. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. He said, with men it's impossible, but not with God. For with God. How many things? Four things. But he said with God, nothing is possible. He now went to Mark chapter 9, verse 23. He said, if thou can believe, all things are possible. So faith is equated with God, compared putting these two scriptures together. If you can believe, all things are possible. Have you? He said, with man it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So faith is equated with God. In other words, faith is the proportion of the equation. Faith is the proportion of the equation. It is faith put to the class of God. Faith brings God's hand down. Your favor. That's why right. when you say things by faith, they happen. You believe by faith, you get healed. You believe by faith, you get prosperous. You believe by faith, Satan cannot torment you. Praise God. So one key that unlock the supernatural is what? Faith. Faith. Don't do with this thing called faith. <laughs> if you shall not believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things must have been. Thank you, Father. Now, how do say that? What is faith? What is faith? Faith is putting God's word to work. Thereby committing God to make good his promise. What is faith? Faith is putting God's word to work. Putting God's word to work. Thereby committing God to make good his promise. Putting God's word to work. Thereby committing God to make good his promise. Thank you, Father. What is faith? Number two is a platform through which a believer is in active partnership with God. Faith is a platform through which a believer is in active partnership with God. In other words, that partnership will help you do what God will do. 
Partners in business have the same share of whatever business there are two of us. Okay. Shareholders over the thing. You know why what Bishop Oiko is doing in Kenya and still beyond is done here? Partnership. Same spirit. I'm not a spiritual orphan. I'm a son of a prophet. <laughs> same grace. I was in one station one time. The same kind of testimony they're having. They're having. Because of the impartation. Partnership. And that's what it is. And look, is it possible to please God without this thing of faith? Because in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, we are told that without faith, is it possible to please God or he that comes or he must believe? Must believe. He said, What are you there that they may diligently seek it? Thank you, Father. Quickly, because of our time, how does faith provoke supernatural? I like to show you some marvels of faith. How does faith provokes the supernatural? Number one, faith empowers believer to do exploits. Faith empowers believer to do exploits. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse thirty-two and thirty-three. All the catalogs of the he- of the you know of the heroes of faith of the supernaturals in Hebrews chapter eleven are all product of faith. Are all product of faith. He said, and shall I not say, for time will fail me to tell you of Gideon, of Barak, of Samson, of Jephthah, of David, all these men of exploits, of Samuel, and of the prophets. Look at the men, that's like three. Who all these men mentioned, who through faith subdued kingdom. Huh? Which means they were doing exploits. By what? Faith, faith, faith. They are not righteousness. Take away faith. Righteousness is fake. Take away faith. Righteousness is fake. Because every righteousness was given. You say you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And only faith you need to take whatever God has. How do you get born again? By faith. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 8. He said we are saved not by works, but by faith. By grace, true faith. True faith, that is that faith that work. By grace, I say, true what? Faith. So faith is a medium of taking delivery of whatever is available in God. Faith is a medium for taking of whatever is available in God. Faith is a medium for taking whatever is available in God. Faith is a medium for taking whatever is available in God. That's why we teach you do a sport. It's the key to great sports, we see in the kingdom. It was faith that brought Daniel and the three Hebrew boys deliverance. It was faith. Daniel chapter 3, from verse 22. Down to 25. Daniel chapter 3, from verse 22. It was faith. Therefore, because of the king's commandment, it was urgent. And the furnace of exceeding hall and the flame of fire slew men and took up shelter, measured and valuable. You know the story, they poured them inside it. Fire. Fire said, No, we don't hold her men, okay. Look at the next verse. The Bible says, And these three men, shelter, measured and valuable, fell down in the midst of the burning fire. Ah, uh, fire does not burn men, okay. Look at it, go on. He said, Then the look at that the king, astonished, was afraid. I prophesy, God will give you amazing testimony. And what more? He said, and we are astonished. And rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Do not we put three men here in the midst of the fire? And answer, go king, go through his three men we put there. And he answered and said, No, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. He put three men in so forth. Who is the fourth person? And they have no heart. And the form of the fourth person look like the soul of man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So what that means is that whenever you are face to face with trouble, with faith, Jesus appears to be with you. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, you know what he said to the earlier after the verse? He said, Oh, 
sat down there, shut up, make sure that I go. The God who does sat up, is he able to deliver you? He said, okay, me. The God who does sat is able to deliver us. But even if he said, we will not deliver us, I have gone on break. It's not a duty today. We will not bow. Yes. And God came and delivered them. The king by himself began to announce, oh, servants of the living God, men of faith. And they were promoted. Faith brings you supernatural promotion. It exempts you from God. It empowers you for export. Look, faith can get you back and restore whatever you have lost. Satan came and stole Lazarus. How do I know? John 10 10, the thief comes on the skis, kill and destroy. The thief is called the devil. John 10 10. And Jesus said, four days Lazarus was dead. In John chapter 11, verse 40, if you can believe, you will see the glory of God. That means if you have faith, Mary, Martha, the last, if you have faith, that is the second stone, shall be restored back. And Peter's and Martha said, Oh, Master, if you have come three days ago, my brother wouldn't have died. See, the last, did I not say if you have faith, you will see him manifest? He said, Okay, no problem, I have faith. Last of comfort, that's what he called. Did he come along? So, whatever Satan stole, can we recover by faith? Amen. Now I'm speaking by faith. Stretch out your hands here. Whatever Satan has stolen from you, I declare by faith that I am so proud. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, your health, your business, your finance, your children has misbehaved. I command divine restoration in the name of Jesus. So faith can get back whatever stolen. Restore back. Thank you, Father. It's not too late to go. Oh, if you have been here earlier, my brother will say the last. There is no late coming with God. Anytime God comes is the best time. Because everything is beautiful in the start. I wish I could preach here now. Somebody is going through something here. God is asking me to tell you the last. I'm perfecting everything that concerns you. They are working together for your good. Yeah. Everything is manifesting in the time where it has right in your favor. Yeah. If you are that person, I thought you say loud as in my It doesn't matter how the evil journey has been, it can be reversed. <laughs> you say, oh, I know he will be alive again in the day of resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. Relax. You don't need prayer point when you see me, you only need faith. <laughs> Somebody, whatever you lost, I will restore back. Yeah. That person said the better yeah. thing. How does faith go both supernatural? Number one, now. Number two. Thank you, Father. Somebody's destiny just got restored. Yeah. Somebody's destiny just got restored. Yeah. Number two. Faith delivers divine strength. Divine strength. Divine strength. Divine strength. Divine strength. Faith delivers divine strength. That means divine energy Amen. is a product of faith. When you see them who are strong in God, it's faith at work. Faith at work. Faith at work. Like I told you, if you take away this microphone for me, you see me in the street. You'll be surprised. Is that our pastor? He's looking so quiet, so gentle. But put the microphone in his hand, he will look like a liar. Faith at work. The spirit of faith makes people. What you naturally call misbehave. But spiritually, they have become drunk. Spirit of faith is at work. If you are not drunk enough, it's because you have not been filled with the spirit of faith. There's a way you speak, so look at your faith. It's faith at work. Faith is trying to make people know I'm not a respectable person. <laughs> Praise God. Faith is trying to make you dead or dead. Spirit of faith will destroy fear in the life of people. Make people see what God can do. He strengthens you. The spirit of faith empowers you to walk at divine frequency. You know, Sarah, Hebrews 7, 11, 11. And she conceived by faith. And the Bible says, and Sarah, through faith, <laughs> received what? Divine energy to conceive. After she has passed age, 
She has passed mama pause. Amen. Doctor Michael. <laughs> you know they say men men go pause is for men, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, woman pause. Amen. Since he said just pause, all you need is play. Pause, play. So faith play it and she conceived. Somebody here you are conceiving your miracle. Faith empowers you with strength. It gives you strength. It gives you energy. Everything God called you to do in life can only be accomplished by faith. Even your vision will never see the light of the day without faith. This matter is serious. That's why you command supernatural. If you see anyone shining, it's a faith is a walk. Anyone is saying faith is a walk. You will need to do your business with faith. You need to run your family with faith. You need to silence your position only by faith. Set a couple and you don't pray. Yes. When he sees the spirit of faith, he clears the way. It strengthens you, it empowers you, it energizes you, it fires you to mesmerize the devil. He makes Satan look like Jama Jama. <laughs> Amen. Then you need to say, God, put your hands on your head, put your hands on your head. Receive the baptism of the spirit of faith. You see, Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 7. Moses was 120 years. His natural force was not abated. You know that was naturally was strong. He wasn't behaving like a good man. You know, some people are 70 years or less. Some who are, you know, 45 years. They're saying, ah, what age don't you come on? What age? What age? 45. 50. <laughs> you know, some people are not strong. They are not sick, but they are not strong. What they need is faith. If faith enters your bone, your bone will get light. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I saw my Bible that it will quicken. Good. Yes. <laughs> and he was born at 20 years old. Oh, when he was that, his eyes were not, not dim. No, so I was there. Show me, show me, show me the way. Give me a stick, but they will come. The guy was alive. And his eyes were not good, nor his natural force abated, natural force, his natural strength. He could still go to war at old age. He could still read his Bible without using glass. Amen. Amen. He could still climb, when he was saying that about that, he climbed to the mountain by himself. Nobody thought that he carried him. Nobody buried Moses. The spirit of faith came him to where he wants to die. Only God took him by himself. Are you ready? Read your Bible very well. They didn't come to control barrier for me. Spirit of faith. It energizes you. Empowers you. If anyone is sick here now, be healed. Yeah. Be healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That spirit engrafts humanity with divinity. It makes woman become divine. This is his life I'm sharing with you. And I want you to Bible. If you read Roman, maybe if you can read the book of Romans chapter 11, you read from verse 19 and 23. He said, We have been engrafted by faith. But unbelief blocks some people out. That's why if you come to a faith church, they can't believe everything. If they say pray talk, pray talk. If they say pray talk, pray talk. If they say just step, just step. If they say what do they say do? Do. Don't think, if you are not wiser than God, everything wrote down from this scripture not to respond. It will give you supernatural outcome. Because Supernatural is simply the confirmation of the word you receive, believe, and obey. Most people receive many words but have not obeyed, so they remain as a spot. That's what you need to do. Well, as I try to round up number three, how does faith provoke supernatural? Faith fortifies destiny. It 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 fortifies destiny. That means your destiny is fortified by faith. You are too guided to be injured. Too guided to be injured. Your destiny is, you know, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 6, above all, above all, taking the shield of faith, 
where which you shall be able to quench all the fairy debts of the wicked above all. So faith is above all spiritual virtue in the kingdom. And with it, you are able to quench all the fairy debts of the wicked. So you silence satanic opposition by faith. How? How do you silence opposition? Uh, are these my students? <laughs> How do you silence satanic opposition? Is there now Ephesians 3? I'm giving you a score already. He said, above all, taking the sheep, faith is a spiritual sheep, which we shall be able to quench all the fatty death of the wicked. One of our pastors, they sent people to come and kidnap him. And as they go, okay, they carry the scripture. And they record it. They go to the place where he is. And he said, when the guy saw, they are asking somebody somewhere in the secretary. Where's the pastor? Where's the pastor? And they go to him. Well, the pastor was noticed that he was what they were looking for. He said, Lord, blind them. Blind their eyes. And as they go to him, they were asking him, the guy in the picture, they were asking him, where's this pastor? Where's this pastor? Where's this pastor? Where's this pastor? Their eyes are blind. Check what you can say. Anyone that tries to do you evil, either to kidnap you or to give information about you to any satanic culture, may they be blind forever. Amen. Amen. Now, as a random got time, <laughs> a woman was listening to a message. She was in a wheelchair. Kennedy okay, was one preaching. On faith, preaching of faith, that you can be healed by faith, you can take whatever belongs to you by faith, God can set you free, and all of that. She was listening, listening, listening. Faith carries power. It fortifies, it heals, it empowers. While she was reading, Reading, listening to the message, faith was coming alive because faith comes by hearing the word. Faith keep coming. As I'm speaking, that faith is every baby. Yes. And as she hears and hears, she was being, she was born on the witch church. She had never stood up before. Born from the third day, she was people put on the witch church, growing like that witch church. While she was listening to that message over and over and over and over and over, suddenly she was washing clothes because she used to do everything she does in the witch church. And the, while she was listening to the message, faith was entering, entering, entering. So she finished washing the cloth. She wants to spread it in the, in the road. Usually before, she would go and roll her this thing, go and spread. This time, she received the word, faith entered. She carried the cloth, stood from the chair, unknowingly, went and spread the cloth. After she spread the cloth, when she was coming back, somebody said, Hey! Sister, come Sister. When she was coming back, and her eyes, she has stood up. Man, that's what faith can do. Somebody jump up with her. I decree you will never be down again. I decree you will never go down again. This is my counsel for you. Listen, number one, always stop the war. Faith coming by hearing and hearing the word. Get the word, put it on your car, put it on your CD, put it on your phone, put it on your shop. 24 7. Be hearing what? Be hearing what? Be hearing what? All my daughter told me, oh, he said, I'm still feeling your presence around me, and things keep working. God bless her with your powerful SUG, bless her with that name. There's no way in the country she can go. She said, I had an encounter for you. Regularly, she will get the message that she's playing, she got one small radio playing message 24 7. You need to be hearing the word. That's how faith comes. Romans 10, 11, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Keep hearing. One hearing is not enough. Hear and hear and hear. The more you hear, the better you become. In any case, most of the time when people come to church, they stay one, two, three service. They get more faith when they won't confess and run. Confess service and run. You know you're not going to do anything at home. You're not going to walk. Why don't you stay and get everything? Amen. Amen. Number two, cancer. Pray the Holy Ghost. June 20. Hear the Lord building up your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. I asked somebody, he said, oh, are you the Ghost? He said, one way is to pray. If you are just praying, I just pray. No, it's what you pray all the time. You don't want to pray about that. 
every day, every day, I wake up on my bed. Jump up. Before devotion, I firearize myself. You know, when you pray, you are charging your spirit man. If you look at this spirit, you know this spirit is charged. This spirit is charged. Charged. <laughs> you touch me now, you are charged. Eh? Are you there? Start talk. Pray and talk 24 7. No dumb moment. You can't talk to this church and sleep. If you sleep, there will be a the very big deliverance. <laughs> Why? The apple says. I don't know about if I can feel something in the atmosphere. Are you feeling anything? Yeah. And number three, advice. Connect with carriers of faith. Yes, sir. Faith comes to impartation. Yes, sir. Connect with carriers. When you connect with carriers, you can't believe it. That's the key secret to a place with supernatural. In the third service, we will spend more time to pray, no more long teaching, and you will step on that anointing. God has told me. You will step into your next level of function. I'm sure you hear the testimonies are running, so you don't need any advice. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Are you there? There are many people who have testimonies that they are just shy to come and stand on this altar yes, to share their testimony. But they have dramatic testimonies. Yes, Somebody say, Why are they shy? You to come and stand on this altar. <laughs> you will forget what you want to say. <laughs> the fire is too much. <laughs> <laughs> 